going on today? Little Westland Wings Outfitters going on today. That's what's going on. I can't wear my hat now. There we go. You'll never know. So we just got here with Whistling Wings Outfitters. We're about to launch both boats into the water. We're gonna get all suited up. We're gonna put the backpacks on and we're headed on the water. Catch us in the waves. What's going on, Cody? How are you, boys? Good, man. I feel great right now. Why is that? Oh, that's why right here, boys. Good to go. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it was an early morning, that's for sure. We uh, spent the night in an Airbnb, got up at 4 a.m., and then we hopped in the vehicles and headed to uh, the Belleville area to meet up with uh, Cody Lucas, Whistling Wing Outfitters. It was kind of cold, but pretty warm for this time of year, which is awesome. And uh, he was a great guy. We met him at the ramp, started getting ready, loading up the boats. It was a short boat ride, probably 10 minutes or so, and we pulled up to this uh, wicked little land point, and we unloaded the boats. What got me into hunting, I'd have to say, is my Uncle Winston. Started me when I was seven years old back. God, I was knee high to a grasshopper and I didn't know what a lab was and I didn't even know what a mallard hen was. The fact of just the passion of waterfowl, the, the, that first flock of wood ducks with my Uncle Winston, when they came in, you heard the sound of their wings sounding like a jet fighter coming through. I knew I was hooked. It got me. That's what it was. I've been guiding now, let's see, nine seasons officially. I started a season before I picked this boy up here then it's been, we've never looked back, ever. You had panel blinds, we had all the decoys, we got all the decoys set up in the water. We had long lines, we had single decoys, you name it, we had it. We had mojos before we knew it. It was probably 10 minutes after shooting light and the first group of ducks started flying and from that point on, it was about to be pretty freaking crazy. Alrighty folks, decoys are set. Sun's coming up, it's legal light. We've seen some ducks moving. Let's get low. We got Teddy here. We got Whistling Winds Outfitter, and we are gonna have a blast. We're gonna be shooting divers, mallards, whatever comes into this spread, we're taking it. Mergansers, I'm gonna be a Susie killer today. Let's get loaded up, shoot some ducks. All right, so today we're shooting Ken Shot All Purpose, All Steel, baby. So am I. Fast steel. A little fast steel action here. We're going to switch it up a little bit for myself. A little number four action, fast steel. Well, for wind and expectation for birds, if you have wind, the birds are gonna fly. Rougher it is out on the big water and all that, the birds wanna come in out of the big wind because who wants to sit out there on the rough stuff? Then really, we'll set up our decoys and our spread and all that with a big pocket open downwind where the birds will do a big loop and they'll come in towards the mojos normally lock on, feet down and it's a beat down. In all utter honesty, if we come out with a handful or we come out with like this, it's still a good day either way. He's seven years old, he'll be eight in March. And honestly, everyone says he, he every, you get one good one, and he's my one good one. He's so naturally good, he makes me look good. 
So we got two birds down. Titan did an amazing job. He went out probably a good part of like 35 yards on a john. So we got them retrieved, brought back. We're getting back in the blind and we want to go around two. Both are down. All righty, folks, we just dropped another three birds. The boys are out there picking it up. This has been an awesome morning so far. That puts us up to five, no, six ducks so far. So we're getting closer to that limit. I think we're allowed to shoot uh, 24 ducks today. So we're gonna be hunting for most of the morning. See what happens, diver hunt, let's go. So Doyle, you feeling good about that last group? He got yeah. one. Oh, yeah. He had to have. Yeah, he did. I know I didn't shoot one. We're probably going to shoot at all of our limits. You know, right? yeah. Today? We'll probably shoot a five man limit. Yeah, we're pretty close. Here we go, here we go. Tell us when. Now! Everybody loves this collar. This collar is all the birds he's picked up in his lifestyle, or his lifetime, I should say. Over his seasons, all banded Canada geese, then everything that was on my lanyard. There's another seven Canada geese bands and another eight or nine duck bands on there, plus a snow goose band from Saskatchewan that that dog's picked up. He's an amazing boy. Good boy, Titan. What a good retrieve, boy. Now, if you want to take a quick look here, right there, that's a greater bluebill. And to show you real quick on the difference of, 
their wing spectrums, the white goes halfway down on this lesser bluebill, and the greater, as you see, go all the way down to the tips. And that's one of the fastest way to tell a lesser from a greater. Other than clear size, these birds are both bluebills, one is a greater, one is a lesser. Both are drakes. What a riot it was this morning. We got onto a multi-species diver hunt this morning. We got a buffalo heads. What else do we got in here, Ryan? We got bluebills, we got whistlers, we got all sorts of stuff. We didn't shoot mergansers, and that's the important part. We had a wicked hunt today with whistling wing outfitters today. And if you want to get on a guided hunt in the Belleville area, you know who to call. Give Cody a call, Whistling Wing Outfitters, and he'll get you on divers as you can see here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. And if you subscribe to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every Sunday. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you shooting more ducks.